In this lecture, we're going to write a query to get the clients that have an invoice. You should already know two ways to solve this problem. We can use the in operator or a join. Let me show you. So we select everything from the client's table where client ID is in. And now we write our subquery. We select the client ID from the invoices table. Now we could also apply the distinct keyword here. So we're only getting the clients that have an invoice in the invoices table, okay? The other approach is to use a join. So if we do an inner join between the clients table and the invoices table, we only get the clients that have an invoice. Now let me show you a third way to solve this problem using the exists operator. So in a new query window, I'm gonna write the same query, but in a slightly different format. So select everything from the clients table where exists and here in our subquery, we write select client ID from invoices table where the client ID column in the invoices table equals to. Now we should give an alias to this client's table. So C dot client ID. So once again, here we have a correlated subquery because we're correlating this inner query with this outer query. You're referencing the client's table in our subquery. However, in our WHERE clause, we are not referencing a column. We are using the EXISTS operator to see if there is a row in the invoices table that matches this criteria. So when MySQL tries to execute this query, for each client in the client's table, it will check to see if there exists a record that matches this criteria. Now here's the difference between this query and the query that we wrote earlier. When we use the IN operator, MySQL will execute this subquery and it will return the result to our WHERE clause. Now, in this particular case, that result is a list of four client IDs, right? So when MySQL executes our subquery, our main query will look like this. One, two, three, five. These are the client IDs that have an invoice. Now, what if in this table, we have hundreds of thousands or millions of client IDs that have an invoice? we're going to end up with a very, very large list. And this will have a negative impact on the performance. In situations like this, it is more efficient to use the exists operator. When we use the exists operator, the subquery doesn't actually return a result to the outer query. Instead, it will return an indication of whether any rows in the subquery matches this search condition. Do we have a client by this ID in the invoices table or not? So as soon as it finds a record in this table that matches this criteria, it will return true to the exist operator. And this exist operator will include the current record, the current client, and the final result. So here's what you need to take away. Back to the in operator. If the subquery that we wrote after the in operator produces a large result set, it is more efficient to use the exists operator. Because when we use the exists operator, the subquery doesn't actually return a result set to the outer query. Here's your exercise for this tutorial. In our SQL store database, find the products that have never been ordered. This is a good case for using the exists operator. Imagine you have a website like Amazon. On Amazon, we have perhaps hundreds of thousands of products and millions of orders. If you want to use the in operator here, our subquery is going to return a large result set. In this case, it's more efficient to use the exists operator. So go ahead and write this query. You will see my solution next. All right, so first we're going to select everything from the products table where, now if you want to use the in operator, our where clause would look like this. Where product ID not in, and then in our subquery, we select product ID, oops, product ID from the order items table. Let's execute the query. So product number seven is the only product that has never been ordered. Now we want to rewrite this query using the exists operator. So we're going to change our where clause like this, where not exists. So I'm using the not operator in addition to the exists operator. Now here we need to write a correlated subquery. So we give this table an alias like P and then check to see if you have a product 
by this ID in the order items table. So where product ID, that is the product ID column in the order items table, equals P dot product ID. So when MySQL tries to execute this query, for each product, it checks to see if this condition is true. If you have a product by this ID in the order items table, this subquery will return true. Now, because we have the not operator here, true will end up becoming false. So that record will not be included in the final result set.